Hello dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rizaul Haq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. Today I will show how to upload and download a program from Cimatic KTP 1000 Basic DP SMI by using TIA portal version 15.1 public Cimatic process software version 15.1. We know in process automation most usable SMI is Siemens SMI. So today I will teach you one of the most important SMI, most important Siemens SMI is KTP 1000 DP SMI. So first we check the which communication cable are using in this SMI to communicate with the laptop or transferring or programming communication cable so we power up the SMI and we check the communication cable that have to be used so go to control panel and go to the transfer double click on transfer then go to the advance here you can see the details of this communication cable here you see the baud rate and the uh, cable is uses MPI so we have to be use MPI cable to communicate with the laptop and the SMI for upload download or configure SMI so we back and press the transfer mode you know if we cannot press transfer mode we cannot communicate so we connect the communication cable MPI cable between the SMI and the laptop so I am using this PC adapter USB that is MPI cable SMI side is connected and laptop side I am connecting. A connection is completed. You see here see the LED is blinking that means connected. Then we open the TIA portal version 15.1 or version uh, 17, 18 you can use no problem. You have to be used to a TIA portal. So I open this TIA portal. After opening we go to create a new project in create new project you have to be press the project name you can put it as your desired name after putting name you select the folder where you want to store this created project so I select and press and uh, create an empty folder that easily I can find out this for this I am doing this then press ok here you also a comment you can make a comment so I am making a comment upload and download program you can write this comment as your wish after writing this comment press create Press create button then it is showing that is the wrong path so we have to select the D drive so we select D drive and press again create button select D drive and press create you see creating new project it takes some time you see a project is open and here you go to the configure a device press configure a device then you can see the different types of then press add new device and add new device you can select the controller SMI or CSMI we want to work in SMI so we select SMI then we go to the desired model number our model number is KTP 1000 basic DP so we select and press double word, double click you see in right corner I am showing the our model number of SMI this is the model number so, so we select this model number and press double click and it is taking time to open this SMI so you see it is creating this project then here are the different set settings so we press next next press next next or you can press in finish button press finish 
when you press the finish button our project is open you see our project is open here we want to check the communication it is communicate or not so we select the mpa cable and press touch search and it is trying to communicate with this hmi if the communication is okay then line is you see it is scan and retrieve completed that means it is connected and it showing the mpa at address also showing is here we have seen the address in the hmi shows here shows the hmi now we want to upload project but you should know so we select this hmi and go to online option here you go to hmi device maintenance you see if you not select i am again showing how you can go that hmi device management and go to backup press backup then it is taking the communication again need to communicate so we select the type of is is interface mpi and press the start search you see it is trying to communicate with this hmi that means our hmi coming in online it is see it is online our hmi is becoming online here you see accessible device and another is uh, has to mpi address access the address and you know, but is not saying access address the address is showing you see mpi 3 have to we select this without select this we cannot see the create option is enable so we select this you see we select this and create option is enable so i am showing again select this and create is enable press create when up this create create button then the schematic process interface will be open of ti portal you see schematic process is open and here showing the complete data here you have to be select the desired folder where you want to store this uploaded project so i go to the desired folder that where i create a folder is name as kasha so i select this here you can put the name upload project or you can say it like as your desired folder or you can create also another new folder for my easy understand i am creating in another folder name kasha and you press the name of this uploaded project upload program and press the open button after doing this press the see here you see the path of this save project press start backup you see when i press start backup the laptop is connected to the same hmi and program is uploading in the right corner side i am showing that the program is uploading it is showing the one of five step that means it have five step all program complete backup will be completed with five step it is uh, already you say that fourth step is completed a uh, five step is the most important step and it take more time about uh, 10 minutes you see uploading program from hmi to laptop i show you step by step how can we create a project how can you select your device how can you save your project so i am i have show you step by step in this step you have to be mind that if in the hmi site if we don't put in the transfer mode the hmi cannot be communicate with this laptop so before you doing your job you have to be press in hmi site in transfer mode then you communicate the you then you use the communication cable between the laptop and hmi then you do the work 
that I show you step by step. You see, our program is uploading. You know, in Siemens, SMI, different type of Siemens SMI using in different uh, factories or for different automation. Basic DP, uh, KTP 1000 basic DP is one of them. It is the, uh, have another type is KTP 1000 basic PN. The difference between the basic PN and the basic DP is that in the KTP 1000 basic PN here is the combination uh, here of the different types of communicating port that means the configuration port here is the Ethernet USB or serial port but you see in the KTV 1000 basic DP here only have one combination port is that is the MPI cable so we use this MPI cable for this shape. KTP 1000 basic DP SMI. If you have KTP 1000 basic PN, then you can use the Ethernet cable. In that can you in that place you can see the IP address. Then you can do this work. You see, our program is uploading. It is taking. I have told you before that it take more time. So I am showing you it. So you have to be wait some time after completing this backup after completing this backup i will show how can you restore your program in new smi or old is old smi if you have any problem in smi to doing your job so you see our program is really upload is completed you noticed right side corner I show the status of this SMI you see now file transferring 5 step is going on now that means our program is transferring from SMI to laptop in right side corner you saying that SMI screen also showing that it's transferred see the service completed you see there is backup this is uh, transfer successfully completed that means our backup is successfully completed now I will show how can we restore a program so again we go to again we select the SMI and go to the online go to SMI device maintenance and go to the restore button because now we want to restore the program so again we have to be communicate so we select MP and press the start search and you see it is again trying to communicate and see combination is established then you select the combination cable MPI and this three and press the load button when you press the load button then the again the symmetric process interface will be open you see press load and symmetric process interface will be open here we want to restore the program so we have to be select the desired program where we have stored our uploaded program so we go to the browse option three dotted click and go to the desired is uh, program that we already uploaded we have then use crusher so go to the crusher and select this and press the open button here you see our program is open and showing all the information of this SMI model number image version operating system configurator setting all are is open when we press the start register button it will be restore you see press the start restore you see it is communicate with this SMI and our program is restoring from laptop to SMI 
you can do this or uh, it is a three step one of three that means this job will be completed within the three step it is one step is going on two step is uh, completed uh, with a short time but one and third step will take some time you can when we can we do uh, done this restore function if we buy a new smi then we can use this uh, our uh, upload it is a uh, uh, program to download to the new smi so we can restore this program another if you have our running smi have any problem that we cannot do anything or program is erase or had uh, have, have any trouble or we have had the if we have the uh, forget the user id or password then we can use our backup program to download the SMI. If we download the backup program in the our uh, old SMI, then the uh, if you have any problem uh, in the user ID or password, then you can use the before using user password you can retry. So you see our program is restoring or downloading to the SMI. It is a two step already completed and three step is going on. And this step will take some time because uh, our program firmware operating system settings all are is downloading to the smi so for uploading and downloading this program in this model ktp 1000 basic dp smi it is taking some time so dear friend if you want to learn about this smi so you have to be take passion and you have to be see this my video in uh, details that means a to z you have to be seen if you see this my video carefully you easily you can done your job in your factory or your automation lab so and i tell you if you like that my video is uh, helpful for you please you can subscribe my channel and uh, share my video also like comments and share to your friends or the others that can help him to done his your job you see we are uh, we are doing uh, the people we are doing our job in, in different factories or uh, power plant or any other factories we have in our daily routine we have to do this like this work so i try to show you that uh, how can we create a project how can we see the combination cable how can we upload or download a project in our new smi or our old smi so i think you can learn more from here to see or restoring you see near complete in the right corner side i am showing the screen of this smi what the happening in the smi site so i right corner side i show you the screen of this smi after coffee leading this coffee or transferring file it is now to operating system is transferring then the smi will be restart and the all the data in the smi will be erase or refresh flashes you see if you notice you can understand easily you see when the transfer is complete you will copy the file you see now copying the flash memory that means all file are copied and in the smi side is showing that erasing the flash that means in the smi have any before program it is with flashes it is erasing that means removing all the data in the smi it is showing in erasing the flash that means the you see the transfer is successfully completed you see in our tia portal or in the laptop screen is showing transfer successfully complete but you see the acmi side is key erasing the flash that means our program is erasing you see copying the flash a new new flash is copying and the acmi will be restarted to restart the main uh, our program will be started successfully 
you see after restarting is showing the main page so dear friend if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching